All right, hello. Welcome to the weather update. It's 8 p.m. on March 9th, 2021, and uh, felt more like May today, or early May, with the temperatures. It's still mild out there. We've got temperatures in the mid-50s across Long Island. Still no sea breeze yet. Looks like it's a little cooler out east. We have 48 at Shirley, uh, but it, it was amazing how warm it was today. 54 in the city still right now at this hour, uh, and like I said, quite a warm day today. Uh, we're looking at let's see we're looking to our north here and you'll see some cooler temperatures already to our north that are in the mid lower and mid 40s so that's cooler air that will be heading our way as a cold front sinks south tonight sort of like a backdoor front look at that wow 39 already in miller air park in those pine barrens west of tom's river so they're getting some radiational cooling west hampton is not though 45 uh right now they're getting a little bit but not as much as uh the pine barrens west of tom's river so let's go take a look at what our highs were today. That's going to be one hell of a diurnal range in Tom's River because we're going to go over these highs and lows. Uh, well, highs, basically. Uh, we'll go to the highs. So let's go to the historical. Let's go to the high temperature today. No, that's the minimum temperature, the high temperature. Uh, and you'll see, look at that. Everybody across Long Island got into the 60s today. Uh, so we have highs in the uh, 63 uh, for a high in uh, Carl Place, 64 at Farmingdale Airport, 63 at Islip, 63 at West Hampton. So everybody pretty much got into the 60s uh, today. Even the East End getting into it a little bit. Let's see what the East End had. Uh, they had also 60 in East Hampton as well. So uh, yeah, uh, a mild day. That was because of that Northwest flow. No, no sea breeze at all whatsoever. 63 in the park, 63 at LaGuardia. Uh, 66 at Kennedy. Um, so quite a warm day, uh, considering it's still technically in winter. Well, climatological winter ended March 1st, but still technically astronomical winter. Uh, let's take a look and see how warm it got in New Jersey in the Tom's River area. And they hit 66 at Miller Air Park. So amazing that Miller Air Park hitting 66. Now they're 39 degrees uh, with the radiational cooling because the air is dry. The humidity is low. Some areas get close to 70. 69 looks like around Bass River. So uh, yeah, quite a warm day today across the area. Uh, very, very remarkable across the area. So uh, let's take a look and see what the Weather Service has on their Twitter uh, so this was the warmest day since Thanksgiving. So uh, this was the observed Tuesday uh, highs here. They'll look at the highs. Central Park, 64. Newark, 66. White Plains, 60. Islip, 63. And it looks like a record at Bridgeport, 64. So it will be cooler tomorrow, as you see here. It won't be as warm. Uh, so uh, this is and this is an example of some of the temperature changes we had with this, with this warm front uh, that came through. Looking at the satellite, uh, not a whole lot of clouds. Uh, we had some very scattered high clouds today. Other than that, uh, plenty of sun. There's some high clouds off to the south. That's not going to affect us. And then we have some off to the north, which I think won't affect us either tomorrow. So let's go take a look at the models and see where we're heading. So let's, uh, we're going to just look at the surface in this. We already did the upper air in yesterday's uh, um, because nothing's really changed. Um, in the forecast, basically, we have this high, and this is where this is this little uh, little secondary area of high pressure that builds over New England. That's what pushes this back door front through tomorrow, with somewhat cooler temperatures, still probably a little bit above normal. Uh, but then that high moves offshore. We get back into the west to southwest flow, meaning more warmer weather for Thursday. Might be more of a sea breeze on Thursday, uh, and for Friday, here comes that weak cold front that comes through, pushes to the south, and it looks like now both Saturday and Sunday should be nice days. Uh, with sunshine uh, and then the next uh, storm system could come and get near our area next week all right but we're only looking from now through the weekend so let's go take a look and see what the uh and again our next chance of precipitation isn't until friday so we really can't even say it, it doesn't even look that impressive on here to be honest with you so i'm not even gonna make a big deal out of it right now so our temperatures do drop tonight. We're dropping into the, uh, by the morning, uh, you'll notice that the temperatures are a lot colder. 35 to 40 should be the lows, unless you're in the Pine Barrens where it might be a little colder than that. Uh, tomorrow, you could see the difference. Uh, much warmer over Jersey, but you can see the influence of the backdoor cold front with the northeasterly winds over Long Island. Uh, you can clearly see that uh, with cooler temperatures in the 45, 50 degree range. 
But then things warm up again on Thursday with the southwesterly flow. I think you're going to 70 in Jersey for Long Island. I think it's going to be 60s. But there should be, uh, I think there will be a sea breeze. So especially cooling off on the south shore first, then pretty much the whole island. But I think you have another chance of being just as warm on the north shore uh, as today with temperatures in the mid-60s. Uh, doesn't really cool off that much at night. And then more of a widespread, again, no sea breeze on Friday, so we probably see more of a widespread event where we're going to be above 60 degrees. Cold front comes through. We drop off for the weekend. Highs in the mid-40s for both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so uh, that's what it looks like right here. And the uh, other thing that we can look at with this back to our front is uh, the wind. So we can look at the wind here, and you'll see here. Well, you can. Let's, uh, well, I'll, I'll use another model for that, I think. Let's go to the sky cover next. Uh, so uh, Wednesday, you'll see here, uh, looks like fairly clear skies over the area. So it should be fairly clear skies. Should be a nice day. Not as warm as today, but still another nice day uh, with sunshine. And then more clouds, probably mainly high clouds in the picture Thursday. And then Friday, obviously, with that cold front. That cold front pushes off to the south on Saturday. And uh, depending on where you're at, now Long Island, uh, New Jersey, you might be a little more unlucky with some high clouds over your area. But Long Island... If we're lucky enough, we'll have a clear day that day and maybe Sunday as well, uh, a clear day both those days. So that'll be nice. We'll have to see exactly what happens with that uh, because the, the front will wind up getting hung up, but hopefully far enough to the south that uh, we won't be dealing with too many clouds around. Um, let me look at a few other models for the sky. We'll look at the NAM 3 as well. So here is tomorrow, and you will see here that uh, maybe some clouds inland, uh, but along the coast, Stable air, uh, dry air, I don't think we'll be seeing too many clouds. I really don't. Um, until later on in the evening where we'll see the clouds build in a little bit. And Thursday, we start off with some clouds, but then more sun in the afternoon. And that's as far as I got on that. Let's look at the RGM. So this is the RGM. So here's the RGM for tomorrow. Yeah, clear pretty much. No clouds. Thursday, again, we have those morning high clouds. Probably be high clouds, but it, the sun will be out. More in the way of clouds on Friday, then this front comes through. And it looks like the RGM really does push it far to the south. So hopefully we have clear day both Saturday, at least at least Saturday, if not Sunday as well. Um, so let me just go to one other thing so we can illustrate the uh, backdoor front coming through. I know this uses the European model, but it should still show up pretty well. So as we go in here, you'll see as we go into here, look at that. You can see that northeast flow there. See east northeast flow, 40s over Long Island, but you can see warmer over New Jersey again. So uh, that's another reason why. Well, I mean, if you like the warmth, that's fine and all, but uh, you know, remember when the summer instead of instead of be uh, you know in the summer uh, it'll be it'll be brutal in Jersey while Long Island will be comfortable. So that's that's something to think about. Temperatures on Long Island in the mid 40s. For uh, meanwhile, New Jersey is going to be a lot warmer than that, uh, possibly, especially the further inland you go. Uh, uh, so you can see that effect of that backdoor front. And then as we look at Thursday here, uh, you will see again that there should be a sea breeze developing here. Long Island, uh, probably, except for the North Shore, not getting above 60. But if you're in Jersey, you're going to be pushing 70. Ooh, it's a little warm. And now you know why I don't want to live in Jersey, all right? Um, Mid 60s, uh, probably. Like I said, I think it'll be there'll be a good 10 to 15 degree difference. It's going to be one of those days, especially as you get into the afternoon on Thursday. There's going to be like perhaps a 20 degree difference between places along uh, along the coast, the sea breeze on Long Island, and in New Jersey and west of New York City. Uh, and then as we head to Friday, you'll see the lack less of a sea breeze, uh, so Long Island will get more into the warmth again. Um, we can also look at the clouds on this as well, the cloud forecast as well on this. Again, this is the European model, and you can see fairly clear tomorrow, very clear tomorrow. It should be a nice day, but more clouds for Thursday, but not that many. Not enough. And then not much for Friday. It pushes to the south, and then let's see what it does with Saturday. It looks like Saturday is a clear day. European says clear day on Saturday. Maybe a few more clouds on Sunday. Uh, but other than that, I mean, things are looking good. So get out there and enjoy it. I sure have to, so I got to after <laughs> the craziness of the past couple of days. Take care, and thanks for watching.